Hey, well, this is uh, Brandon Krieger. I'm from KNSS Consulting Group. Today I'm here with Ali Stevenson on the left. In the center, D uh, Dave Madonka. They're from The Breakdown Show, uh, www.thebreakdownshow.com. These guys are great friends of mine. They ran a successful business of following the NBA, talking the athletes, talking the stars, you know, even just kind of updating their Twitter page, their Facebook page on, you know, current mm -hmm. events, what's going on. Guys, thank you so much for coming out for this interview. Hey, this Our is pleasure, cool, man. man. No, this is wild. This is a trip. And actually, Brian, just to know, you're actually, you're in the middle. I'm I mean, in the middle. Dave's in the middle. You're actually in the middle. So for At least on my screen, yeah. For you, for you guys, yeah. For, but for the recording, that's how it's going to be shown. Oh, really? Gotcha. Wow. Yeah, so what happens All is right. as, as I'm recording, you're gonna, I'm, they're going to show that your fellow people, your followers are going to see Oddly on the left, Dave in the center, and me on the right. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So I learned something. So you learn something new something. every day, right? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> you got it. You got it. That's right. <laughs> I love this. So this is the good thing about this, nice. this is the good thing about technology, guys. I mean, you can interview people worldwide. I mean, these yeah. guys, of course, are in the Toronto area, but I get the 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 chance to at nine thirty at night be able to interview guys, my friends, you know, anywhere in the world. So, Ali, Dave, tell me, mm. how did you guys start the breakdown show? Jeez, uh, Brandon, it was, uh, picture it, 2008, mm -hmm. square one food court, Oddly and I in the food court, we just recently reconnected on Facebook, uh, we had met previously at the Score Television Network, he was an intern, and I was a reporter, anyway, so you fast forward, 2008, square one, we're talking about ways to collaborate, what do we have in common, and we're like, wait a sec, Basketball, that's what we have in common. So that was the start. That's where we started to etch out the idea for the show. Awesome. I think it's, important, right just to kind of, I, it's important just to make mention. I mean, you know, at the time, as Dave mentioned, you know, we were both at the score. I was a lowly intern, uh, you know, getting coffee and donuts for people, and Dave was the big shot reporter. And, um, you know, this was at a time when, you know, the Raptors were just kind of getting started. So they weren't really hot. Basketball in general wasn't, you know, on the map or on the radar at all from a from a countrywide Canada perspective. You know, we're all about hockey, and we knew that. Um, and one of the things that kind of Dave and I were able to connect is not only were we basketball fans, we were fans of the New York Knicks. And, that, you know, it was unheard of to find another guy that, you know, or another person. And, and again, I'm talking like, you know, this is like 90... I don't know, 98 or something like that, where, you know, you're talking about the Knicks, and you're like, wow, and this guy's connecting with you. So that's how we kind of hit it off, and, you know, then we went our own ways. He was doing his thing, I was doing my thing. And, you know, again, the wonderful world of Facebook, you reconnect, and, you know, you start to link back to those sort of shared commonalities. And I was like, yo, let's do this because, hey, it makes sense, and we both love it. So there you go. So now I think what impressed Oddly even more is the fact I was a white Knicks fan. Yeah, I was, I was blown away. I was blown away. There's not many of them at that away. time? It really was. It's <laughs> not. It's a very rare species. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> very unique, right? <laughs> it's, like, Pretty much. it's like bird watching. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> so then, you guys had this yeah, idea. So what made the, like, the website, the radio show, Where how did you guys evolve to that this point? Well, you know what it is? It's just one thing compounding and building on another. You know, if you if you were if you had had said to us four years ago you'd have a, a website and you know Twitter feeds and Facebook uh, fan pages, all this kind of stuff, we'd have been like, "Huh? What are you talking about? We just want to talk hoops." And 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 that's really where it started. So we just were talking basketball. But you know, Brandon, as you know, you get into this thing. You know, you do one thing and go, "Hey, let's try this," and "Hey, let's try that," and let's you know let, let, let's get a website up. And we weren't thinking about websites. We were thinking about, about uh, you know, having a, a network of writers that are writing for our website on a regular basis like we do now. We weren't thinking any of those things. All we wanted to do was talk basketball. But as time went on, those things just naturally made sense to be a part of. It's awesome. That's and a you know what's really interesting? Sorry, Brandon. What's really interesting is the fact that Oddly and I, we never placed any limits on what we could do with the show. Like, we thought to ourselves, you know what, let's get this guest. 
You know, who cares if they're, you know, high up on a pedestal? Let's go after them. And then we would get these guys. It, it'd be incredible. And then it just snowballed because you get one guy, then that guy hears about this other guy, and you get this other guy. It's crazy. So yeah. we've come a long way for two guys who didn't, you know, we didn't set out to, to you know, be superstars or anything with this show. It was just two guys who were sick and tired of the way basketball was being uh, portrayed in the media up here in Canada. We wanted to give it some spotlight, courtesy some two, like, passionate fans. Okay. Our, 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 show model, our show motto is for hoops talk the way it should be. Right. And that's how we've always felt that we wanted to properly represent and respect this sport and show the, you know, show the sport is just due respect because, you know, regardless of your fan or not, uh, you know about NBA basketball, you know who the players are, and the sport's only getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, hey, Brandon, if I said to you four years ago you'd be talking to basketball guys online, you'd be what are you talking about? But exactly. here we are. Exactly. Now, see, one thing you guys brought up, which is a key point here, you guys get stars on, like, to interview, to talk like on your radio show, to be able to do that. Now, for someone like starting out, someone that might be watching that, how hard is that? Because I know I get people approaching me going, how do you get these people? How do you meet them? How do you connect with them? Like, how hard is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> no kidding. It, um, I think the, uh, I often said that uh, when you, you, you know you're good at something when you make it look easy. Right. And uh, it's not, it, it's, it's certainly not an easy thing. Uh, I think what's, now, the other thing with us, over the last four years, we've built up a, a reputation. Uh, we're, we're a bit known out there. People know who we are. Uh, NBA teams, we've, we've, we've probably been in contact with all 30 NBA teams. They know of us. Uh, we have a lot of former players in our circle. We have some that are actually really good friends of ours, and we do a lot of networking, a lot of, you know, uh, making connections and linkages. So, uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, day one, it was the toughest thing as ever to, to, to get guests. In fact, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Gabe, but we probably did our sixth or seventh show before we had our first guest. Yes, we did. But you know what? This is the advice I give to people just starting out. Don't psych yourself out. Like if you're if you're going after somebody big or even mid level, whatever, find out how you can bring value. Like for example, say a basketball player has a charitable foundation. You know, your show is a platform. You can give them some press. So you package it that way via an email. You know, hey, yo, uh, whatever, whatever, have this show. We'd love to get some press for your charity. We noticed an event's coming up. Easy as that. So don't psych yourself out. Even though you may think your show is small, they don't know that. For them, it's another way of publicity. So that's right. what I say. Don't psych yourself out. And, and another thing I'll add to that, and, and I think we, we've gotten so far away from this, we've forgotten how effective it is, but the telephone still works. You can pick up the phone and call people, and you know what? They do answer. And, 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 and listen, I know email is easy and, you know, sending messages online, it's really simple. But I'm telling you, the phone is such an effective tool that we've forgotten about, and uh, I think if we kind of remember that it still works, you'd find some results there. Now, what about a handwritten letter? Have you guys tried that? That works. You, you could try that. Maybe you can seal it with like a kiss. Maybe put the lipstick kiss on that. Oh, okay, try that. Okay. You might try that. I, let me, you know, in fact, let me know how it works out for you if you do that, all right? The only reason why I ask this is because <clears throat> when's the last time you guys have received a handwritten letter? Oh. My son oh. sent me one the other day, I think. Okay. <laughs> they made him write one in daycare. Okay. What about yourself, Dave? Yeah. Um, I think it was some sort of criminal infraction. I uh, can't remember. <laughs> oh, it was someone in jail uh, just saying hi. He missed you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> L L little Roro wanted to say what's up to Dave. Yeah. Okay. He, he liked his show. You know, they get to listen to it in between their breaks. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, man. You got it. Uh, Brandon, you know, you know the inside all too well. The reason why I bring that up is because the funny thing is, a friend of mine brought that up that a lot of of great marketing and people are following up now are going back to the old style of marketing where they're writing handwritten letters now, right? They're getting away from the texting, the emails because it's so indated, right? When we get emails, I'm sure yeah. you guys get them. We put them away. We we ignore them for later. But if, it's almost like if you get a handwritten letter now, it's like it's Christmas. Right? It's like a new Christmas present. Yeah, you want right. to open up and see who wrote me a letter, right? 
right, right. And I find yeah, no, it's I, true. I think I, I think. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. As I say, it's a, it's a good point to that. I think that you, because we we don't see them as often as we perhaps we used to. That I don't. We've gotten away from it because the the speed of communication is put in the hands of texters and emailers. Yeah, it just kind of takes away from that. But if you want to, I think I think you're to your point that if you really want to make a lasting impact and really get people's attention, you know, a handwritten letter. Now they may not just get it till 1990. Who knows how long it'll take them to get that letter? But you know, but still. It's a good effective way that works. It's Courier Pigeon. Courier Pigeon. Way to go. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> it's the only way to go. But, I, I, like, for I me, you. I got a handwritten letter from a guy, mm. like, here. This one was actually a handwritten letter, and I haven't received one in, like, almost two and a half years. I Like, an actual handwritten letter. Because yeah. we all get, like, you know, the brochures and stuff like that, little flyers. But he wrote me a handwritten letter, yeah. and I opened that up like it was Christmas. I put all yeah, my bills aside, right. everything else, but that was like, hey, yeah. someone wrote me a letter. What, what's this about? You know, who is this? Is he yeah, okay? I, I, don't like, what happened? Letter to put my, I, I, I don't need a handwritten letter to put my bills aside. <laughs> 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 it just might be that, that is... other incentive. <laughs> sure. I'm sure we all have that hear, like yeah. blue recycling bin that, you know, the, the bills go in. You got it. That's you got right. it. Yeah, exactly. It's getting kind of full. <laughs> That's when you have to take it out every Tuesday or Thursday, isn't it? Monday night, it, Monday night. Or Tuesday nights, Tuesday nights. Yeah, I go. think it's Tuesday, Tuesday nights. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, what advice... Yeah, like, I know you guys have talked to some amazing stars. Like, What advice do you have for people that are starting out? So someone that's watching this right now is taking this interview in. What advice would you have for them to, to market themselves, to connect with people? Well, basically, you know, the thing that you do, the show that you do, first off, you have to you have to be passionate about it. Because I think once you're passionate about a topic, when you do meet people, they can see that passion in you. They can feel it. Uh, they can notice, the, you know, just the conviction in you. Like with Audley and I, we, t we talk hoops all day. And when you have that, I think it really resonates with people. So in, in terms of, like, when you're connecting with people, you know, just being positive, uh, just showing them that you can bring value to whatever they want to promote you know it's always a mutual thing like you can never go to, to people say guests you want to have on a show you can never go at them one-sided and say yeah do you want to be on my show no you always have to extend your hand and say listen here's how we can help you i think that's huge i, I think that's really been a a big golden nugget for us just our you know our willingness to help other people you know just to help other people just get elevated you know yeah, okay yeah, um, an another thing, a word that comes to mind as Dave was speaking is be just being authentic and being authentic and, and real to yourself. And that's kind of where the passion comes in because if you're true to it, you're easy to be passionate about it. And again, when you have passion, you have lots of energy, you have lots of ideas, and, and you never get tired of doing it. And, that, and that's really important because, I, you know, you will hear no an awful lot. You will get rejected emails. You get non-answered non emails. You might even get non-answered handwritten letters. Like, you know, th those things are going to happen. Right. But the reality is is that you, you, you've got to just keep at it because the other thing about authenticity and why it's so important is that people can see through it. And if you're if you're really being real to yourself uh, and, and then people can see that. You know, for example, you know, we, we, we had Steve Urkel, uh, Jaleel White from Family Matters. And, you know, the one thing we knew about him, and I'll also make another point, is do your homework, too. But don't just go after anybody. Make sure that the person that you're going after fits for you. Well, for us, Zeal White fit for us because he was such a huge basketball fan. And, and to this day, and I remember us telling Davis, like, after we finished talking to him, you know, a half hour later, you know, I had a headache because my, we were just laughing so much and having such a great time, and it was authentic, it wasn't real. It wasn't staged. It wasn't put on. We were just having, you know, it was like guys sh talk shooting the breeze. Right. And, and ideally, that's what you want. And, and for us, you know, you know, our, our goal to every interview we, we had uh, going into them, again, we had like 200-plus interviews, so we've, we've done a lot. And in any, every interview that we've gone to, the whole goal is to have a good time. And if at the end of that conversation, we that hasn't happened, we haven't done our job. So, and, and again, that's all that's wrapped in that sphere of being authentic. You have to be authentic to keep it real, to, to be successful at what you're doing. Now, who would you say is like the person you, you, if you could interview someone day in and day out, if he could be the third man on your show, who would that be? 
Charles Barkley. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. You know what? I said I mentioned Jill, Jill, Jaleel White. He was so he was such a trip. Like he was hilarious. Uh, to this day, I, you know, I I go back and check out our interviews. And for anyone that wants to check out some of our stuff, our, our website, thebreakdownshow.com, we have a tab called Pass Yes, and you can see all the stuff that we've done. Um, but yeah, I, I tell you what, Jaleel was just hilarious. Like I said, I had a headache. You know, a half hour after speaking, my head was still throbbing, uh, just making me laugh so much. So he was he probably one of my favorites. And then you said Charles Barkley, Dave. I'd love to talk to that guy, have him on the show. Like As we all know, he's very opinionated, uh, very funny. and just I'd like to see him just go back and forth with us. I think that would be pretty funny, especially with Audley. I'd like to see those two bald-headed guys go at it. <laughs> now, have you had him on the show yet? Thing. No, not yet. Not yet. So maybe what he's a I? future guest for 2012? Why not, Hey, man? you never know. You we'll never we'll, know. we'll put it out there for you guys. <laughs> There you go. Appreciate that. So, Charles, you know where to reach us at. TheBreakdownShow.com. Hit me up. There you go. Yeah. But, like, what we've done, like, again, and, and, and what was really neat for what we've done is that, uh, you know, we, we guess we're a basketball talk show. We've broken so many boundaries. Like, it, and this is the beauty of, of going online and creating something that's yours because you set up the rules. You set up the boundaries. If you want to have a basketball guest, you can have a basketball guest. If you want to interview an R&B singer like Brian McKnight or a rapper like Styles P or or you know a uh, Houston Rockets mascot, you know you can do that because those are your boundaries, those are your rules, and you know that's kind of what, you know for for us, you know our, our only thing is we just want a connection to the game of basketball. And you know if a guest wants to want to talk hoops with us, man, we'll do it. And and up until this point, uh, the model has worked. Uh, it's it's been a lot of fun, and again, just the opportunity just to talk hoops. That's what we're trying to do, man. That's it. That's awesome. That's it. So, what's the plans for 2012? Get that the breakdown train two moving. Two. <laughs> <laughs> do more of these Pretty interviews, much. man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's just <laughs> getting bigger and better. Just getting bigger guests. You know, I, I think that's the main thing we're focusing on right now, and also growing our hoop. Talk Nation, like Augie was talking about it earlier, we have uh, these really great writers uh, from across uh, all the NBA cities, you know, that are, have taken time to just talk about their team, and it's really cool because uh, the BreakdownShow.com is a cool website, it's a cool show and whatnot, but we can't cater to every city, you know, like you really get in-depth analysis and whatnot, and Augie and I have been able to, to recruit guys that can you know, give that attention to those cities. And it's great. Like, we're just growing this thing. Like, who knows where Hoops Talk Nation will be? Uh, it's looking it's looking awesome right now. And they're very, very talented writers that are on our roster. So that's probably the biggest thing that we're working on right now. Nice. Yeah. And and, 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 and there's a lot of pride in that because, again, we've gone to, to, to these writers and we've recruited them, essentially. And, and, and really what we've done is put our, our, our name out there to say, hey, you want to work with us, and and the number of writers that absolutely have jumped on that, uh, that means a whole lot to us because they see some value in what we're doing, uh, and and overall what it's also doing, it's help it's helping grow our brand, and, that, and that's what we've really been focusing on. When we talk about 2012, I mean it's going to be the goal every year, but it's a growing that brand. Um, you know, we we go into NBA locker rooms, we talk to NBA players, um, uh, yeah, and again that's all part of growing that brand. We're shooting a lot more videos as well. Uh, because a very a, a big part of what we do is just having a lot of fun. So we shoot fun, kind of quirky videos of us doing you know, all kinds of cool stuff and having a good time with it. Because all of that is an encapsulate of what the brand is about, and that's what we do. Now, if people want to see your videos, are they on your website, the Breakdown Show, or are they on the YouTube channel? You got, well, you know what? You go to the Breakdown Show, uh, and you, there's a tab that says videos. And they're all posted there. Um, we've done like a, we've done a, a bunch of locker room stuff, some really fun players type stuff. Um, there was even a video of Dave and I trying out for the rappers' dance pack. Um, My favorite. That, that was, you gotta check it out, everybody out there. Check out that video. Yeah, yeah. And in case anyone's wondering, the guy in the wig—that's me. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't tell by your so, laughing. Again, that, that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's all part of, again, it's all part of the brand. The brand is to yeah. grow it, 
Um, you know, at the end of the day, we want people to know that we're, you know, we're, we're fans of basketball. We, we know what we're talking about, and we like to have a good time. All of those things. And, and I want to go back to an early comment as well, a talk about authenticity. Um, and why that's so important is that people need to look at you and not have any doubts as to what you do. They need to see, yeah, these guys are basketball. This is what they do, whether they go to your, your Facebook or your Twitter or whatever. They need to understand that because you're, you're the same person. So it doesn't matter where people inter interject or, or connect with you. Some might connect with you on Facebook. Some might be on Twitter. Some might be on LinkedIn. Some might be somewhere else. Well, through all those platforms, you have to be emulating and, and, and showing that same brand. So if it's basketball is your thing, whether it's pottery, knitting, scuba diving, whatever, people have to be able to see that at whatever entry point they come in and know that's what you're all about. That's awesome. Now, what about social media for you guys? Like, How has that helped your business? Oh, just promotion. Yeah, just getting the word out you know, across the world. We get... You know, we get people all the time from different countries, you know, commenting on our stuff or saying stuff like our show or video or whatever. It's it's really helps getting the word out, especially with our book that we uh, released last year. You know, a guy in France bought it, you know, say, hey, like, I love the book. And it's crazy. We're just two guys from, like, Brampton, Ontario. And it's having a ripple effect around the world, you know? For sure. Now, just to kind of give you your social media question um you know we talked about the hoops talk nation mm -hmm. well well you know again we've got close to 30 writers and i'd probably say that 95 percent of them came through our social media networks and channels so how big has it been for us it's huge absolutely see now this is the one thing like i, I love to bring up and, sh and show for, with you guys is that you guys use social media to the extreme in the sense you connect with your community you engage with them you use it as a tool to be able to recruit as well. It's not just the point that you know you're just using it as just a promotion tool, but you're actually connecting with your community, right. engaging with them, as well as building up a relationship for your business as well. So I mean, you're using yeah. all aspects of it. Sure, and, and and I'll tell you, you know, the social media tools, they, they it's, it's it's not it's not just a one way channel here, and I think people need to understand that. And it's not just about you pushing out your stuff. It's also about you receiving other people's content, you learning about the forming relationship. I, I've lost track of the number of relationships I've formed with people and maintain exclusively that I have online. I mean, some of my best friends, as crazy as it sounds, I've met through these social media channels. And, and, uh, so, and, and it's the same as any relationship. It can't be one-sided. It can't be about, hey, this is my product, or here's my website, or here's my newsletter, or here's my Twitter. It's, it's got to be more than that. It's also got to be you taking in and receiving and understanding and learning because that's what will make it vibrant and dynamic and help it grow. Yeah. Totally agree. So, guys, we're coming up on, on the time now. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Anything you guys want to kind of tell your community, people that are going to see this video? Wow, just keep on listening, keep on checking out TheBreakdownShow.com. You know what, if you're not following us on Twitter, please do so, at Breakdown Show. We're on Facebook, so like us, you know, we're everywhere. So please, enjoy the content. Oddly and I have a lot of fun doing it. You know, we do it for the basketball fans, for you guys. So by all means, dig in and enjoy. Now, your social sure, sites are sure. all on the break, TheBreakdownShow.com, right? Absolutely. So guys, what I'm going to do... Breakdown Go ahead, darling. Yeah, if you go to the breakdown show, if you go to breakdownshow.com, it'll connect you to everything that we're a part of, and everything that we do, us individually, our entire network. It's all there. That's the hub. Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, in the bottom here in the description, I'll actually put the link to Ali's uh, Twitter account, the breakdown show, you name it. All will be in the YouTube description in the below, so you can just click on it and you can, you right can follow them. Right here. Yeah, just below right the description. Not above where our names are, but below. No, not here. <laughs> not here, no. Down here. That's right. Okay, okay. We'll go left to right or right to left? See, not in the box. Ah, oh, all right. Ah, uh, the box. The trap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever told you I'm claustrophobic? <laughs> I'm in this box. Are you okay? Are you going to make it through the rest? <laughs> I'm going yeah, to manage. Gonna manage. <laughs> but no, Brandon, this is, this is awesome. I really appreciate uh, you, uh, you, you setting this up. Uh, this is certainly a wild experience uh, in interviewing in this fashion. Uh, yes. You know, something we're definitely going to be looking at, looking at doing, because 
Uh, this is again, this is wild, and 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 for us, uh, again, to our, to listeners, if you've heard of us before, uh, if you're wildly interested in basketball, um, you know, check us out. There's nothing more rewarding than you know, even hearing from non-basketball fans saying how much they enjoy what we do. Um, for me, that's 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 the wildest and, and most on, the best comment I can get. The best comment I can get, and I appreciate that. And so, I mean, if you're listening out there, you're checking us out. By all means, hook us, hook, hook up with us, and uh, take a ride on the breakdown train, man. <laughs> It's a, it's a fun ride. Two guys just having fun. It's really that simple. We're just having yeah. a good time. That's it. And I'm, it. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say that. These guys, you hang around with them, for sure. They're nothing but energy, nothing but jokes, having a great time. I mean, we went to Kelsey's, had some nachos, and just had a great night. And that's all we did was just laugh and have fun. And that's what these guys, yeah. I mean, they live, right? Yeah, and, it's got, and again, it's got to be going back to the whole branding thing and being authentic. Like, if, if you say you, you know, want to have a good time and want to be, you know, want to be a, a fun guy to hang around, then you've got to be that way all the time. And that's just kind of what we do, man. That's awesome. Hey, hey Brandon, listen, I just, I just wanted to apologize. I think that Kelsey's night, I did eat the, the last couple of nachos. I apologize. See, I was wondering if it was the waitress. I was going to blame her, right? That's why she didn't get her tip. That was all her fault because we weren't looking. So I thought she came over and she snuck yeah. some. Brian, Sorry, I'm going to have to go back and apologize to her. That's done that. That's, that's not the first time he's done that, by the way. So I, <laughs> he's sneaky, I huh? Know. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> well, guys, I'd like to thank he's you awesome, for this interview, guys. And it's so much, and I wish yeah. you all the best for 2012. What I'm going to do is through the year, I'm going to be interviewing guys again, just kind of seeing how things are going, as well as because you guys have such great knowledge and insight to be able to help the communities about learning about how to market, how to do, even like blog talk radio, recording, stuff like that. You guys have such great yeah. insight. So, I mean, we'll sure. I'll, I'll have you back on for another interview for sure this year. No doubt, man. That'd be awesome. You, 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 glad you to say help, the word, man. we're here, man. We're here. Oh, I, We've only done... That? 250 plus episodes, you know, 2,000 hours of content, you know, over 200 guests. Come on, we can help you out. Oh, yeah. Just, just a little, right? Yeah, just a bit. We, we, we've learned a few things. You're trying to, to catch that. up with Oprah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No kidding. No kidding. All right, guys, thanks. This is wild. Have a great night, guys. Very cool. Take care, you my man. Too, Take man. care. <laughs> <It's> nice. <laughs>